Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. This is the first time I'm actually um, recording uh, YouTube, so thank you for watching. So today we're doing a um, IBX review and I was actually quite surprised in regards to the uh, quality of this stuff, even though it's only a tiny little bottle. And as you know, um, I it's something that we don't actually see in Australia. Um, it's mainly for uh, nail technicians, licensed nail technicians. So I'm only a um, DIYer. So first, the first layer, as, a, as you can see, I'm um, taking off my acrylics. Well, press-ons, because <laughs> I'm a press-on girl now. And the first treatment is um, the repair. So I'm just putting on the repair. I'm just cleaning my nails to start with. This is step one. One thing I did find out um, straight away was my nails started to like mend. It's really bizarre. So I was actually quite surprised. Uh, on the end of this video, you'll see my nails finished. Um, I'll show you a photo of them. But yeah, I, I was actually surprised. I was actually expecting it to burn because my nails are super, super thin. So here I am just heating it up for about one minute. So we've just done the first step, which is the repair. Now, according to the instructions, you only need to do the repair once. probably do it again in maybe three weeks every fortnight um, just do the strengthen so on here I'm blotting the uh, excess of the oil so basically what this does is it's going into the nail bed itself to repair the bed um, hopefully that makes sense and then I'm curing it in the light for 60 seconds. Sorry about the background noise. I'm trying to make it as quiet as possible. Okay, so now I'm cleansing with alcohol. And in Australia, um, I can su get supplies um, from NSI Nails. Um, this one is the Strengthen that I'm now popping on. So I got this from NSI Nails and um, it was about $50. So it's a big system, like it's obviously expensive for a reason, <laughs> making sure that it actually works. Um, it's been, I've been DIYing for about 12 months now and now I've just decided that um, it's time to put up the videos um, simply because um, I don't see much on YouTube about Aussie girls DIYing. <laughs> okay, so I'm just leaving the table there now. Apologize, this is the first time I'm actually doing this. 
so I do apologize in advance. So now I'm heating it up again. So this is the strengthen. Now in regards to the strengthen, and I'll put the details on the screen there shortly. Um, basically you heat this one for about four minutes and you do this step twice. So you do the strengthen twice. So this is what I'm doing now, which is a two time step. It's about four minutes, so it takes a little while. And I'm a bit of a fidget. <laughs> so. And um, there are other things that you can get DIYing, um, like, for example, the alcohol and the acetone. Um, is... Um, available at hardware stores. So for example, you can get it at uh, Bunnings. So that's a really good option if people are wanting to do it from home. I actually started doing it from home because um, obviously with our lockdowns in Melbourne, I'm, in, I'm from Melbourne, and um, we had a few uh, lockdowns. So the nail salons weren't open and um, yeah it actually made it quite difficult to have your nails and because and the other reason was that um, my nails became so fragile that there was absolutely nothing left of them like they literally had holes in them this is like a year's worth of only DIYing and they finally started to grow back to some kind of normal and um, here I am curing the strengthen for about 60 seconds so yeah the um, nails became very fine and um, because of doing years of acrylics um, I found that the even though they were trying to help my nails from getting for getting better I couldn't have anything on the tip of my fingers without any enhancements so here I am cleansing there again and um, so the actual so here I am putting here I am putting the uh, step two into place so this is step two times two Okay, so um, you have to do this twice. I was actually surprised that they started to um, stiffen a little, my nails. It's like they got a little bit harder, um, which is great because um, you don't want to um, have them splitting or getting really bad. And I thought it would burn to begin with because my nails are so fine, as I'm saying. And here we are heating it again. Get my light. And it's just a desk lamp light, um, like a office set office lamp. So I'm just heating that up for four minutes again. So yeah, um, in regards to the nails, the technicians try to do as best they could in regards to the um, healing of the nails. And it just got to the point where they were filing them so far down that I literally had holes in them. And I'll show you a picture of um, my healed uh, thumbnail because my thumbnails have been the worst. They had a split in between and they had a hole uh, all to do with acrylics enhancements only because they were filing them too far down. So I've learned a lot in the last 12 months in regards to DIYing and looking up YouTube channels um, and one in particular was Nail Career Education and that was um, really enticing and um, informative and I really love Susie so she's really great I watch her on a regular basis and um, that's a shout out to her and I've also just started looking at Nail Hub so, you know, they're both relatable in regards to the things that I'm learning being a DIYer. I also get products 
from a number of places and I also get um, Inau Couture Australia which is in Sydney I think <laughs> so here I'm blotting again you wipe off the excess make sure you use a different uh, swab or lint-free pad and curing for 60 seconds so this is the second job and as you see here I've um, got lined up the oil the daddy oil now there wasn't any instructions on this daddy oil so all I did was just put it on the nails rubbed it in nice for a few minutes um, and then cleansed the nails and then went on to um, putting on gel polish. So I'm applying the oil now. And I really don't know how long um, it's going to take for anyone to look it up uh, or if anyone's going to be watching. So I'm just putting it out there. Hopefully uh, my story will help someone else in the similar situation. So there's some pictures of my nails, how they are after I've applied the uh, Repair and Strengthen IBX treatment. Now I cleansed them and I'm about to put Inal Couture A Pink on my nails just for a slight protection. So just to double check the chemical balances. Um, but yeah, so I instantly saw that it was evening up my nails. So if I had any um, indentations or splits or anything like that, which I did on my index finger, and um, the split was definitely um, quite substantial and the IBX had pretty much glued it together. <laughs> yeah, so there I am applying my second coat. So I do this to the, all the nails on that hand. Um, obviously I do my other hand, my dominant hand on off camera, but um, it just gives you an idea as to what um, I was doing and then I applied uh, like another layer of gel polish like clear gel polish which is usually like base coat or top coat apply a couple of coats of that and uh, and cured and away we go protecting the nails for a little while giving them the time to um, get better anyway thank you so much for watching and please like subscribe and share and have a great day.